Hello everybody, my name is Ushiro and this is Game Dev Tycoon. I have no idea what to do in this game, well obviously make games and stuff, but yeah I just needed something to play and make videos on so it was on sale on Steam so I just got it. So welcome to this series I guess and let's just start this thing right. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of your PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of your market. Ah, uh, words. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company name. Uh, here we go. Female, male, female, male. I'm a chick. No, I'm a dude. Oh, sick, bro! You can customize the back of your head. Oh, fully sick, sweaties, bro. Company name. Sick. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Richard does lab. Dot ink. Nah, nah, nah. Lucha does lab. Play name. Lucha! Uh, okay. Wait, guy. Alright. What's my head? What head? What a head? There's no good heads, man. I don't know. I hope there's more, like, later on in the game. So, okay. I don't know, man. These look terrible. What's the less dorkiest clothing? That's that's not too bad, I guess. That's Asian. That's not. That's blonde. Ranga. I'm just gonna go with that. Let's start. I can't spend too long in making a character. If you ever want to review the tutorial messages, then you can do so in the help menu to access the help menu and other features, such as saving, loading, and creating a game. Simply press escape to access the main menu. Oh my God. Congratulations, you've started your own game, very own game development company. At the moment, your office is a gar <laughs> garage and you are the only employee. But don't worry, many successful businesses have started out this way. Let's start developing your first game. Close this message and click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. <gasps> Achievement unlocked. Supporter! <laughs> Uh, sweet! Look at my garage! Being sweet! Um, wait, one second. Okay, I just had to make myself offline in Steam, so, because I know my friends will message me. And I'm about to drink some coke. Okay, so I clicked to uh, bring up the. Oh! Develop new game! Oh, kill him! Before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your company a name. I mean game, Jesus Christ. You can also select with graphic technology your game could use. Should. Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you'll be able to unlock new options. Oh my god, game number one. That light is blinding my eyeballs. And it kind of hurts. Alright, uh, topic. Spy, cyberpunk, airplane vocabulary. Spy. Genre. I don't know. Uh, platform. They look the same. They look, both look like PCs. We'll go PC because it looks cheaper. Uh, adventure. Eh. Game number one. Jesus, this is gonna take me ages. Oh my. Spedland. Spedlord. One. Land of the Sped. Alright, we're gonna go Land of the Sped. Next, how much money do I have? 62k. Next, alright. Text based 2D graphics. 2D graphics, definitely. St 
Dirt development. Oh my god. It's both stars. Game development runs through the three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> A brief description of <laughs> the different areas. Please refer to help menu. Oh my god. Ugh. Can I just do that? Is that a thing? Alright, gameplay. Story and quit. Engine. I don't know, man. Why don't we just make it all top? What if we just put nothing? Just make it no game. Oh no, that just makes it all even. Alright, so gameplay is going to be pretty high. I guess we we'll put it around the middle. Story and quests, yeah, bruh. Engine can be like, eh. Right, I'll put those two equal, and the engine will be like down there a bit. I don't really know. Right, let's go. Okay. Tutorial game development is not started. You don't say. While developing your game, you generate game points, which you can see bubbling up. Game points are divided into sections, points, and technology points. The points you generate, the better, the more points you generate, the better the game will be. Sweet. From time to time, there will also be bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Bug points should be fixed before the game is released and increase development time and cost. Scratch your head, you fool. Points. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, dialogue level design, artificial intelligence. Whoop! Let's make the bots like stupid. Level design, hell yeah. Dialogues, no one likes that. Oh, wait, ah. Whoop! This is gonna be a terrible first game. Oh my god! I'm gonna go broke. Why are my monthly costs like 8k just for a, a computer in a garage? God! During development, you can also select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features make the game gen generally better, but also increase the cost. You also see the graphic type when you sweat. You also see the graphic type you select when you define the game. This is just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change the type of graphics mid game. Alright. <laughs> what? 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 Okay, whatever. Wall design. No, graphics. Sound. I uh, will just put sound like Bleh. graphics. Bleh. Level design. Okay. One day I'll make a game like completely even just to see what would happen. I have a lot of research and design, but no tech. Oh my god. The development of your first game is not complete. You can press the finish button to publish your game but you should only do that once you fix the majority of the bugs releasing a game without fixing the bugs can severely affect your ratings so you should only ever considering that if you need the cash or you cannot afford to wait it's do the bugs man uh, how long do you have to wait till the bugs go what is this to oh oh that's the menu thingy Well, bug says zero, so I'm uh, assuming that it's finished. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Oh wait. Oh, it's doing stuff. How good is this music, though? Alright, we're just gonna go. Oh my god! Recent market studies suggest that the. Uh, 
go the door. It's G64. It's steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the low price grid availability and flexible hardware. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Experts say that that's about the end of the building and manufacturing. Ah, little no, fish again. Tutorial. Oh my god. The development of your game is now finished. While developing games, you gain experience, improve your skills. When development is completed, you will be <laughs> presented with a summary of the experience gained. <sighs> Oh my god, 99 XP, 99 plus taxes. Oh, this light is blinding me. Can I turn? Oh, that's so much better. Loot jaw. Trash game. Not even level 2, what a noob. Release game. Oh my god. Good judgment. Create a game with a GSW there. Hey, I got achievement. Your game is now completed, and you'll be, and we'll be headed off to publishing. We should see reviews and sales coming for the next game soon. Up. And, 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 and first reviews out for the newest game, Land of the Spread. Came in. Oh my God! Don't look, it's gonna be horrible. <laughs> oh my God! I got a five. But it, come on. Oh, a five. Oh my God. Four, not bad, not screen, man. Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, five. Come on, guys. Oh, this is an average game. It's, oh my god, I have 2k. That's like no money at all. After publishing your game, you can invest a little bit of time analyzing to analyze your creation and generate a game report. Game reports are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insights into how. I mean, into what works, and, wait, dog, shut up, I'm trying to read, go away, and what doesn't work when developing a game, Gen <laughs> to generate g <laughs> game reports, close this message, and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the extra menu, ah. uh, generate game report, ah. land this bed, ah. select, Lose the does lab and come on. Has fans quickly. I'm no fan. Wanting your bank account is always in the red. You're able to withdraw a bank account. Thankfully, your bank has enabled you to overdraw your account up to 50k. But be careful if your account balances below 50k, you'll go bankrupt. GG. Well played. Should I be researching? Okay, uh. First week of sales. <gasps> oh my god! Land of the Sped sold 1,900 units of the first week on the market. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, get them. Now that your game is on sale, you will receive the income of the game every week. You can now see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph on the top right of the screen. Oh, there it is over there. Fans, land the spread. See, <laughs> you have now eight fans. Whoa, yeah! <gasps> land of the spread, let's go! <laughs> Dear Lordy, what am I doing with my life? How post free. Land of the spread is great. You got the phone. It's a great combination. <laughs> Graphics, I just got a Facebook notification. I mean, message. Graphics seem quite important for this type of game. Dialogue seems to be very important for this type of game. And again. I'm out of drink, help. <coughs> Game reports are a great way to gain more research points and new insights. It pays off to generate a report for each game you release. Now that you've completed your... Shut up, Facebook, please. I should close that. Um, what was that up to? Now that you've completed your first game report, it's a good idea to look at the research menu to open research menu. To open the research menu, close this message and I click anyway. Shut up, Facebook! Who's spamming me? Oh my Buddha! Oh, like be quiet, please. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm pretty sure that's enough for the first episode of this. What you call it? 
Oh, look at land of the sped. Go, I'm getting cash money, boy. Industry news. Oh, I'm trying to make an outro. According to the rumors of the Japanese company, Ninfan. <laughs> Ninvendo is planning to launch his very own gaming. <laughs> Dinky King. <laughs> is this game actual serious right now? Dinky King <laughs> Ninvendo. Oh my god. Many industries expert doubt that the home gaming console will take off, but it's eager to see what Nintendo will deliver. <laughs> Anyways, my name is Nitro. Thank you for sticking around and watching this episode. Another episode thingamajiggy will come out soon, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Gotcha! <laughs>